Hi, it's Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. I recently did a refresh of my laundry room and as part of that project, I made pleated detachable skirts for around my utility sink and also to cover up some storage shelves that I had. So I thought you might wanna make one yourself and I thought I would show how I did it. So um, I'm just gonna give some directions now. The first step is to wash and iron your fabric that you're going to use so you, that if you ever want to wash it again later, which since you're detaching it, your plan is probably to wash it again later. And then once you have it washed and ironed, you need to measure it, decide where you're going to fasten it on your sink or your shelf and then how you want it to hit the floor. Do you want it to just barely brush the floor? you want it to drag a little bit it's totally up to you just figure that out and then make a one in measure that and then make a one inch allowance on the bottom and the top for the hems you're going to make uh, fold it over half an inch and then another half inch on top and then half an inch and half an inch on the bottom take the sticky side of your velcro and stick it to wherever you're going to have your skirt that way while you're sewing your skirt, it'll have some time to set up. Most of them say to let it sit for 24 hours or so before it's like fully ready, fully cured for whatever reason. As far as the width goes of whatever you're doing, if you're doing a utility sink, measure around the sink or a shelf, measure the shelf. And then since you're doing pleats, it gets a little more complicated as far as knowing how much fabric you're gonna need. It's that time I've gone online and I have found this cool pleat calculator online and I'm gonna link it down below. If you go there and you tell them, you know, how wide your pleat's gonna be, one inch, two inch, whatever, it'll tell you how much fabric you're gonna need. So that's pretty cool. So definitely do that and then after that, the next step is to, after you've measured everything, fold over and press your hems and then sew your hems on the top and the bottom and on either side. So now you have this nice hemmed rectangle of fabric and now you're going to start doing your pleats. You're gonna pin them like so and you can use a measuring tape to figure out, you know, your one inch or two inch. I had a stripe fabric, so I just use the stripes as my guide. But if you don't, you can use a measuring tape to, and uh, just pin the way that whatever you had decided, one inch or two inch or three inches between pleats. Once that's done and you have all your pleats pinned, <laughs> take your fuzzy sided strip of Velcro with the, the not sticky side, the other one that's going to stick onto the sticky side and lay it across the back and pin it in place. And then you can take that entire thing over to your sewing machine and sew the pleats down and the Velcro to that row of pleats all at the same time, which is really nice. And you just take your time, go slow and take out the pins as you go. You've got to have quite a few pins because you've pinned your pleat and you've pinned your Velcro. So make sure that you get them out of there before sewing machine, before it breaks your needle. But and it is quite fat, it's a lot of fabric, but I mean, I have this little brother machine and it's like, no problem, piece of cake. Once that's done, your skirt is done. Admire it, take it over to where you're gonna stick it on and you're done. How easy is that? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this little quick tutorial about how to make a detachable pleated skirt for a sink or a shelf. Please give me a thumbs up down below and please check out my video about my laundry room makeover where you can see my skirt in action. I also have a tutorial about how to do just a plain skirt with no pleat and please consider subscribing to my channel. This is Kathleen from oldworldfarmhouse.com. Take care. Until next video. Bye.